Hello everybody and welcome to Marcus with India's webinar series. This is Hitesh here and in today's webinar we'll look at how to use the volume to gauge the supply and demand for a stock. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer here. During the course of this webinar we might discuss a few stocks. Please do not consider the stocks discussed as a buy or a sell recommendation. This is purely for an educational purpose. Just to set out the agenda for today's webinar, we'll first begin by looking at the importance of volume in, in buying or selling a stock. Then we'll look at specifically how to interpret volume while buying and later on while selling. And finally, I'll close by, by telling you how to generate your own stock ideas using our up on the volume screen. Okay. So, in his book, How to Make Money in Stocks, William O'Neill makes a very powerful quote regarding the importance of volume. He says, The price of almost everything in your daily life is determined by the law of supply and demand. What you pay for tomatoes and eggs depends on how much of each of these is available in the market and how many people actually want these items. So, there is, there is, there is a very key aspect here which I'd like to highlight. He says that the only law the stock market obeys is the law of supply and demand. Now let me make let me make a very relatable example and analogy for you so that you'll be able to understand this con basic concept. Let's say you are a vegetable seller, and there are peeping there are people queuing up in the line to buy your vegetable. Now how would you price your vegetable if you saw fifty people in the queue versus if you saw let's say 500 people in the queue. Obviously, if there are 500 people in the queue, you're going to be increasing the price of your vegetable because there is a huge demand for it. This is exactly what volume for a stock tells you. It tells you how many people are in the queue for buying or selling that stock. Now, you know, just to give you another example, uh, much before the multiplex format, for movies came into uh, the metros today. Uh, we had the single screen format theatres in Tyre 1 and Tyre 2 cities even till today. You would have noticed that if there is a popular movie or uh, there is a movie with a very popular hero or a cast or something like with director or something like that, on the first day first show you will notice that due to the huge demand for the tickets of the movie, there will be a lot of people who would have gotten a little earlier into the line and they will buy multiple tickets and they'll try to sell it to others at a highly jacked up price. You know, sometimes it's two times, sometimes it's three times. Why do they do so? They do so because there is there is a market for the ticket to sell at such a price. You know, people are going to be, because of the huge demand, people who are unable to get a ticket are willing to pay you know two times three times just to watch that movie so that's why price are just upwards when there is a huge demand for a product or a good or service in this case a stock now let me take tell you how the importance of volume is captured by two aspects in canceling the first is the supply and demand aspect now when you carry out a canceling trade you always should look to buy on a breakout of a price pattern and the volume on the breakout should be more than 40 to 50 percent above its average volume. You know there might be cases where the volumes recorded are being much 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 higher than 40 to 50 percent. So keep in mind that the higher the better. You know we always love it if it's more than 40 to 50 percent. The second aspect which captures the importance of volume is institutional sponsorship. Institutional sponsorship highlights that you know stocks which increasing fund ownership is very good. Uh, stocks which are having increasing fund ownership is likely to be a profitable trade because of huge demand by big mutual funds or let's say um, insurance companies who are investing in the stock market. These people have great research tools and everybody is looking at the stock and they want to buy into the stock. So using charts. You know, um, I'd like to highlight an example of how if an institutional buyer wants to get into a stock, he's very often going to reflect in the chart. 
So on the left side here, you have this chart of Sinjin International. So on the lower side here of the screen is the volume, volumes panel. In this volumes panel, this red line here indicates the 50 day moving average volume. Now let's say there is a 100 crore mutual fund who wants to invest into the stock we're talking about, Sinjin International. The average number of shares traded on Sinjin is around 185,000. Let's say this fund wants to take just a 5% position in, in, in this stock. So the number of shares it would have to buy at its current price of INR, let's say 535 is around 934,000. Now if you compare 934,000 versus its average shares traded, it is almost five times. So very often, you know, 1000 crores is not a very big mutual fund too. It's a pretty decent sized mutual fund. You know, if just this fund wants to get into the stock, volumes are going to be visible in the chart in, the, in, in this volumes panel section. So what you would see is this huge blue bar which is spiking above the red line. So that is when volumes being traded on the stock are above average. So therefore, using a chart, what you can do is you can track the footprints of institutional buying. So let me get into an example here and explain this concept to you. On the left side panel here is the chart of Force Motors back in 2014 May. So uh, let's assume that everything else in Force Motors is uh, yes on the cancel checklist. And what happens when you see this on 23rd May 2014? You know, you can see the stock makes an all time high. It breaches its resistance level recorded earlier and this happens on an above average volume. If you notice the volume panel, you'll see that, you know, this blue line spiking across this line here indicates above average buying. You will notice that this had happened on two other occasions during the formation of the base. So this is giving you a clue that, you know, some big institutional fund is trying to buy into the stock. So during the first time, the volumes recorded were 500% above average. The second time it was 538%. And finally, it makes a new price high with around 361% above average volume. So on a daily basis, this is how the chart would look like. And these lines are indicating institutional buying into the stock. So what happens here? Let's let's look at the long term chart, long term trend of the chart. During in, in the earlier slide, the screen what we were looking at is was here in 2014. And this was when the stock made a new price high on this volume. See how the chart makes beautiful run after that. And the stock increased from around 400 levels. It, it went up almost 10 times from 420 level to about 4200. That's almost 10 times for you. And if you if you observe in this volumes panel below here, you can see the uh, average volume line for the chart increasing. This is like almost like a mountain. Okay. And throughout, throughout the run in the stock, you can also observe that during the next time it breaks out, it forms a base on top of this base. And when it breaks out here, you again see huge volume by this is much above average and the stock does well. Subsequently, there is a little bit of choppy trading by the stock. And again, in 2016, you can clearly see that above average volumes are being recorded, just indicating institutional buying is happening into the stock. Let's take a look at another example. Canfin Homes, and this is back in 2014. So in this daily chart, Canfin Homes Canfin Homes forms a nice cup with a handle and breaks out. On the day of the breakout, the volumes recorded, recorded are around 525%. On the next day, it goes up to 382% and institutional buying continues into the stock. It goes up around 296% and finally it goes up around 367%. So you can clearly see that these blue towers which are above, being recorded above the average volume line here means these are indications that there is some institutional buying which is happening in the stock. You know, William O'Neill likes to call this as skyscrapers. Skyscrapers are when huge volumes are recorded into a stock much above its average shares traded. 
so on a weekly basis this is how canfin homes looked the cup with the handle what we saw on a daily chart was during this phase and on a weekly basis it recorded 153% and 117% above its average volumes these two blue towers here so now let's again go to the long term trend of the stock and see how it actually does this was the cup with the handle in 2014 what it was forming 2013 apologies so you can see that the stock increased about 10 times from the level of 140 to currently around 1503 that's again a 10 times growth for you and the, throughout its run here in the volumes panel you can see that it consistently records above average buying that is institutional buying into the stock you know in this chart you can also see that this likely the stock looks likely to be have topped and there is huge selling which happens here recorded by this pink line here which is towering above the above average line let's look at another example this example is of walkart way, way back in 2013 so um, walkart form, forms a consolidation base and breaks out of it makes a nice little run here goes up almost from 500 levels to almost uh, 2000 levels so that's four times for you and let's say you bought it somewhere here and you see a stock doing this the stock has its largest weekly price fall this huge pink line what you see and look at the volumes here that's 359% above average <coughs> volume the share price of the stock continues to fall on above average volume so now what would you do here you have made a neat little run here on the stock from 500 to 2000 that's four times in a in a span of one and a half year maybe so when you are sitting at this we at market smith would be would become very bearish on the stock so we would like to sell off all our positions on the stock because of this huge volume sell off what we are seeing here it breaks below its 200 dma as well as its 50 dma now let's go back and see what the stock actually does there is a further sell off in the in the stock from the earlier 1200 levels it sells off to around 400 levels that's almost 67% sell off in the stock so you can see that you know when you track volumes it can give you an early clue as to whether there is accumulation or whether there is distribution happening in the stock another example here a quick one so this area what you are looking at is actually the top made by sun pharmaceuticals this is the weekly chart and somewhere near its top what happened was this this could be an earnings snort or this could be some negative news event whatever it could be what what happened is the stock recorded a huge weekly drop on almost 644% times its average volume and since then you can clearly see that the trend of the stock is now sloping downwards the stock is breaking down it's lost its 200 dma and it's struggling to come up again so this can give you a clue here you know 644% when a volume of that magnitude is recorded it means institutions funds are selling into the stock that's when we would likely be getting rid of our position in it okay so another example here so this is one of my favorite examples kajaria ceramics kajaria ceramics was one of our model portfolio stocks and we added it to our model portfolio when it broke out of this resistance level here around inr 498 and the stock went up very nicely and during this time what happened was uh, the stock had a earnings miss there was a huge single largest day price drop in the stock look at the volumes recorded for it during this fall that was a stunning 1940 no 1094% during the next day another 1070% that's a huge volume sell off so from a market smith standpoint we'd like to be offloading our position here and we actually did remove the stock when it breaches 50 dma on such a, such a kind of volume we had a 31% run on the stock what does the stock do subsequently it sells off another almost 30 percent since our removal so therefore you can see that you know when you track volumes for a stock you are able to understand 
when to buy and when to sell and it could be giving you clues as to what institutions are thinking about the stock whether they are accumulating it or whether they are distributing it okay so now let me tell you about our up on the volume screen which is available on our market space india app when you open the app this is the home page and when you click the idealist button there is a section known as the up on the volume section so when you click up on the volume section you get stocks which are having momentum which are facing momentum which are seeing which are going up on above average volumes so i like to run this screen almost once every day and i like to see which stocks are seeing buying which stocks are seeing institutional buying that is buying on huge volumes and the app also provides a feature where you can sort the list of stocks based on different metrics and you can also apply your filters like maybe you want to look at only mid and small cap stocks or maybe you just want to look at only large cap stocks which are seeing institutional buying so on and so forth lots of stuff there so that you can tweak around and play with it and i like to really do this almost uh, once a day it helps me generate ideas it helps me make my watch list stronger i like to see which stocks on my watch list are moving so i think this is a very powerful tool so that brings me to the end of this presentation i hope this presentation was uh, useful our market smith india app is available on you on google play please feel free to download it and explore and give us your feedback thank you so much